All right, guys, it is early May. We're back on a creek doing some fly fishing. I only got a few hours tonight, but I figured I'd slip down here. And I am excited and determined because last time I was down here, the bass embarrassed me. I caught nothing but panfish, which is cool. But I normally like to pick up a couple bass, and I could not get any takes. So I took all the small flies out of my box and uh, brought nothing but bass streamers, which is also cool because um, through my buddy Grant at uh, Hill Country Fly Works, um, I met another individual, um, Brooke Bow, and uh, been chatting with him a little bit on Instagram, and he sent me some flies for my area. Super nice guy, not any type of sponsorship or anything stupid like that, just uh, it's nice, wanted to send them to me. Um, asked me if I'd fish them and let them know how they did, so I'll be happy to do so, and it's everything I typically fish, clousers, buggers, all that stuff. So I got one of his black buggers tied on right now, and we're about to wade in here and hopefully pick up a couple bass. So we'll see how the night goes. Here we go. Awesome. Very nice. All right, pretty fish. Got the bass, so uh, took the woolly bugger. You can tell it's been spawning a little bit, a little beat up. Let me let it go real quick. Back healthy as could be. And that reminded me, there's something I've been wanting to talk, uh, mention in a video. It's just a lot of guys don't know it. Grew up, no one ever taught you, and that's fine because it wasn't something I learned until later on in life. But I see a ton of guys fishing and they do two things that they should try to avoid doing. Number one, they want to get a picture, which is cool. You know how much I like pictures and everything. And they lay the fish on the ground, whether it's the dirt, the grass, out of the water, and they lay it on the ground, they put their reel by it and they take a picture. Really got to avoid doing that, guys. A fish's protection is that slime that they develop on their side. And um, when you lay them on the ground, you're taking that slime off. I'm not saying you kill every fish that happens, but it's not good practice to set them on the ground like that. And then number two, often see guys take pictures with fish and they want to take a bass and they want to turn it at like a 45 degree angle. They want to grip it with one thumb. They're putting all of the weight on that fish's jaw, pushing up on them. And that can be really bad for a fish's structure system. So anyway, like I said, just something I had to learn and I've avoided doing. It might help one of you guys, but let's get back in there and see if we can't catch another one. Oh, another bass. Not near as big, but no, nope, nope. It is not. A little green sunfish. I say little, but that's a nice green sunfish. They always go back so aggressive. There's one. Oh! <laughs> A little, little jump for us. Pretty fish. Got some dark black spots on him. Let's let him go. Sight fished him. I was watching him sit on top of that rock. Made three or four presentations to him. 
Who's mad? Another run. Here he goes, here he goes. <laughs> I'm on a three weight, so I don't want to lean on him too much. Oh, there he goes. You giving up, buddy? Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, nope. There he goes again. I said nope. Nope. All right, buddy. I think you've given up now. I'll wear you out. Go. Good fish. Let me let him go. So I sight fished that bass. There's a big rock right here and there's a bed back behind it and I could see that fish just going back and forth. And I'd lightly throw that bugger up there and he'd turn towards it but I, I near about had to drag it over his nose and he just opened his mouth and popped it real fast and I set the hook on him and got him. Um, you been, can tell I've been doing a lot of conventional tackle fishing because my uh, reaction is to set up and you don't want to do that fly fishing. You want to do a strip set. You just want to strip the line in to you harder and faster to, to set the hook but kind of in habit for my bait casters and standard bass fishing. So anyway... All right, we're gonna try hitting one more hole. Getting some overcast. I know it's supposed to possibly rain, so I'm not gonna be greedy. Caught a couple good fish and enjoyed my evening. So we're gonna wait up here to another hole and tie on, probably keep a bugger on, but go to a little bit smaller one because I can't help myself. I wanna catch a couple panfish. So see how it goes. Bitty guy. <laughs> Aggressive little fella. He goes. Jumped out of my hand. Alright guys, it's gonna wrap it up. Ended up catching some good bass and uh, a couple panfish. No real big panfish. I didn't catch a long-eared sunfish, which I was surprised by. But anyway, y'all go check out some of these small creeks. There's little tributaries that run into your main lake, especially if the main lake's known to be good fishing. A lot of times fish push up in these creeks and they live there. Uh, so I enjoy it, have some good trips doing it. And I get to explore some areas, do some wet wading fun way to do fly fishing so anyway hope to be back on the water soon